So here's something interesting about uh, wax moths. Uh, this is in a, a little baby nuke, uh, 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 just for a queen mate and nuke. But um, this can happen in big hives also. Um, quite often um, people see bald brood and they always think that it's varroa mites. But if they're all in a line or in a sort of a group and there's no other bald brood anywhere in the hive, um, it could be wax moths. And I'll just show you this. Try to get this on film while I'm doing it. Here is where I think wax, a wax moth has tunneled along under these uh, brood. Now watch this. I'm going to try and find it. And there it is. A wax moth. And right under the noses of the bees, it's tunneled along there and um, stayed under the cappings so the bees don't do anything about it. And it's chewed the heads off those um, larvae. And uh, yeah, so what will happen after that? I'm going to just get rid of it. There. I just want to squish it. There we go. So, yeah, what will happen later, when this one, if it emerged naturally, you would then find a, a, a row of bald brood along here, all in a line. Well, sometimes they're a bit dotted around, but there's nothing else anywhere in the hive. So it wasn't varroa mites, it was wax moths.